What's going on guys? Ed here. We're back with our third SARM video in the series. Today we're covering Carterine GW501516. It's not actually a SARM. It's lumped in with the SARMs, so we're going to cover it here. Let's get into it. What is it? What does it do? How does it work? What are the benefits, uh, side effects, and let's check out some studies. So, as I said, it's not a SARM. Um, it's actually a PPAR agonist. That is chemically what it is. It was discovered back in the 90s, and I bet you're wondering, Ed, what the hell's a PPAR agonist? Well, um, carterine specifically is a PPAR delta agonist, and basically there's a lot of science behind it, but what it does is it changes your body's fuel preference from glucose to lipids, meaning that your body will now go to fat as its main source of energy. Um, it will increase the uptake of fatty acids from the fat cells, boom, to go get burned off. And it will help you to stay leaner. Very nice. It was actually developed to treat metabolic and cardiovascular diseases such as obesity, diabetes, etc. Uh, it's different from SARMs in the fact that it does not affect your body's androgen receptors. SARMs and steroids will suppress your testosterone. They're going to have effects on your body's hormones, your endocrine functions. This will not do that. Carterine does not affect the body's androgen receptors. You don't have to worry about any suppression. Therefore, no PCT when you're done. Um, there was a lot of research done on this, but all the research was abandoned back in 2007 because they found that high doses of this stuff could cause cancer in rats, which we're going to get into later. This stuff isn't as bad as you might think it is. I'm going to touch on this. We're going to talk about it. Um, as always, it's a research chemical. I don't advise to take it. I don't recommend that you take it. It's not for human consumption. But if you are going to take it, what kind of do you do? Well, it's an oral supplement. You take it in a dropper form. It's usually a liquid suspension, similar to SARMs that you're going to find. Uh, you drop it under your tongue, let it sit there for 30 seconds, and then you can kick it back. Uh, it's mostly used for cutting cycles, maybe staying leaner. I guess you can use it for bulking to help stay lean um, and keep yourself from getting too fat while you're bulking. Um, so that's always good. It will overall make your body a leaner state than it would. Uh, so what kind of benefits can we get for bodybuilding? Well, you're not really going to get huge muscle gains from this stuff. You're more going to get endurance gains. It's going to be great for endurance. You're going to be able to work out longer. Uh, your workouts are just going to feel better. Instead of going on the treadmill for 30 minutes, you'll be able to hit 45 minutes an hour before getting tired like you normally would, which is great. So huge endurance boost right there. It's going to reduce your body's body fat by, you know, increasing its fat burning abilities. Fuel for your body is going to now be fat, okay? So your body is going to go into overdrive fat burning mode while you're taking this stuff. You're going to burn more calories taking this stuff than normally you would just sitting around. Um, so it's also going to improve your cholesterol. It will raise your HDL, your good cholesterol, and lower your LDL, which is your bad cholesterol. So positive effects all around on the cholesterol, which is good. That was why it was developed. Um, but side effects, what can we expect as far as side effects? Well, as we said, there is the cancer thing that we're going to get into. I'm going to explain that. Um, but liver toxicity, as always with oral compounds, you got to be careful. Like this stuff will take a little toll on the liver. Um, they actually say that carterine specifically does have liver helping abilities as well as liver hurting abilities. So it will do some good things, but it will also damage it at the same time. Overall, I would be more on the cautious side and say that as with any oral compound, SARM, steroid, whatever, um, watch out for your liver. Just make sure you're not drinking excessively while you're taking this stuff. Maybe if you want to take a liver supplement. Um, I don't know how good milk thistle is, but I know a lot of people take that. Uh, Tudka, knack, stuff like that. Make sure your liver is healthy while you're taking this stuff. Other than that, there's goofy things like people getting stomach aches or uh, nausea, weird cramps or something while you take it. Anything that, you know, you take a new supplement, people think, oh, this is because I'm taking this. But, yeah. So those are the main side effects. Uh, dosage, timing, cycle, 
how can we take this stuff? Typically, you take it in 8 to 12 week cycles. I wouldn't recommend going longer than that. I would keep it nice and short. Um, start with less, you know, your first time around. Try 8 weeks, see if you like it, and go from there. Uh, but always give your body a break. After you do a little 8 to 12 week cycle, take a month or two off. Let your body reset before you go back on it. 10 to 20 milligrams a day seems like it's the sweet spot in the bodybuilding community. That's what people are using. I've tried this stuff multiple times. I'm actually taking it right now. I don't know if you can tell, but yes, I'm taking Carterine right now. Uh, I've never gone over 10 milligrams per day. I think there's no need to go over 10 milligrams per day. If you get benefits from that, then why go more? Um, that's how I always think about it. Like if you're if you're getting the benefits from 10 milligrams, there's no need to do 20, 30 more like people are doing. So that's what I think about that. Uh, it's got a 24 to 36 hour half life. Uh, the half life is the time for the concentration to diminish to half its value in your body. We just consider half life when we're thinking about how often we want to dose it. Because it has a 24 to 36 hour half life, you can dose this stuff once per day. But ultimately, you will always get more stable concentrations in your body if you split up the dosage. That's why I recommend taking half in the morning, half at night. So if you're taking 10 milligrams a day, five when you wake up, five before you go to bed. That easy. No PCT is needed, as I said, because it does not affect your body's androgen receptors. There will be no toll on your body's hormones, your testosterone, uh, things of that nature. So... Now, the big, uh, the big thing here with the cancer, we're going to talk about this. So there was a rat study that was done where they administered carterine. Okay, so listen to this. I remember what I said, typically 8 to 12 weeks, and you're going to take about 10 milligrams for those 8 to 12 weeks. Well, in this rat study, they administered carterine to rats for two years straight. Two years straight, the doses that the rats received were anywhere from 5 milligrams per kilogram a day to 40 milligrams per kilogram a day. Now, to put that into perspective, when you equate that to a human dose, there's a couple different models, but all of the models are pretty consistent to convert um, from an animal to a human dose. It's not straightforward like you think. There's actually... Uh, some pretty complex equations that go into it. I went through two different uh, calculations to equate the dose from rats to humans. They're both consistent. I'll post the link to that if you guys want to do the numbers yourself. But the smallest dose that they gave to rats would equate to about 45 to 55 milligrams for a 150 pound individual. So the smallest, smallest dose that they gave to these rats in this study would equate to about 50 milligrams for a 150 pound person. They went all the way up in the dose to over 400 milligrams for a 50 pound person. So in rats, they didn't give them that much. Um, but when you equate it, the dosage that you would receive as a human would be anywhere from 50 milligrams to 400 milligrams plus a day. If you're 200 pounds, this would equate to about 70 to 500 milligrams plus per day. So people aren't taking this much. I told you I recommend 10 or less. Um, but yeah, in these studies, they, they went way overboard. They gave these rats a shit ton of this stuff for a period of two years. That's a long time. Obviously, if you take anything for that long, um, it's going to have a toll on your system. You think about it, you drink one or two beers a day, you're fine, okay? But you drink 30, 40 beers a day over the course of two years, yeah, you're probably going to be pretty fucked up on the inside. Your liver is going to be shot. You're going to have some stuff going on. So ultimately, that's what I think about it. And, um, no matter what you take, it's going to have an effect if you take it for crazy high doses for a crazy high amount of time. That's why low doses, short cycles, you're going to be just okay. So that's a quick little overview of carterine, um, some of its benefits, some of its side effects, what you can expect from it. Um, ultimately, yeah, 
it's going to be more of an endurance fat burning type of compound that's going to help you to maintain a leaner body composition it's going to help your body to burn more calories throughout the day than it otherwise would have but there are those side effects and concerns that you need to look into you know if you're going to take this stuff so there's a quick little rundown of carterine. That's what you can expect from it. That was it. Thank you for watching. I'm Ed. Until next time. Bye-bye.